So here we go, the Asia Rugby 7 Series. It's Sri Lanka, the Tuskers, taking on Chinese Taipei. And the Namdong ASEAN Stadium, Incheon, Korea. It's go time for Chinese Taipei. It's showtime for the Flyers from Sri Lanka. We welcome in the fans from both nations. Well, when they get running, the Sri Lankan team, it is a sight to behold. Dayan Pereira, two of the key names in the side. He's still picking youth, which is good to see. A Chinese Taipei may on paper look mismatched, but we've seen some real fight out of this Chinese Taipei side over recent tournaments. We don't expect that to be any different. Nori Hashimoto of Japan, the referee for this fixture. Looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Down to the breakfast hall very early, I might add, as all the referees are. Very well organised group of individuals. Right, Sri Lanka. Yeah, sweep. No side, turn to Taipei. Time on in this encounter between Chinese Taipei and Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka straight to the outside. Here's this extraordinary pace that we've spoken about. They lay it back on the inside and goes forward on the bounce. And so they'll be brought back. For the scrum restart, an opportunity now for Chinese Taipei to get their hands on the ball. Johnny's Taipei now from the scrum. Push it straight into the midfield. Good, strong run. From the men in blue and white. Look at that, good. Nice defence from Sri Lanka. Johnny's Taipei to the outside. Well, they've got pace of their own, Chinese Taipei. The ball back on the inside. Opening try for Chinese Taipei. And it's two Ming Kwan. Scorer of the opening try for Chinese Taipei. Well, what about that one? From the scrum, they got it up to the midfield and it looked like Sri Lanka had them covered as we take in the conversion attempt. And it's successful, so it's 7-0. Chinese Taipei looking. What a terrific run by Liu Yao Chang as he sent away his teammate too. And if I sound a little bit surprised about it, I think I am. Great opening score for Chinese Taipei. So. Chinese Taipei. Looking to draw in the Sri Lankan defence. Maybe find it. Well, you're not going to find a seam if you can't carry the ball at it. And a breakdown in concentration. He ends a period of offence for Chinese Taipei. They'll be probably a little bit upset about that. They had a good opportunity of creating Crouch. some extra pressure. Bye. Set. Sri Lanka. Now they go wide, and it's Naveen. Drawing them 
back, trying to use the ball and generate some width. Now they look like they've got through, and they are through, and away they go. Danuk dots down for Sri Lanka. 7-5, kick to come. It should be all even by here. And really, it's superb work by the Sri Lankans. It's a very, very, very well executed and clever sevens. Able to draw in the Chinese Taipei defence and then run around it. It's good ball handling. Seven alls to score. Two and a half minutes remaining. Sri Lanka on the board. And the restart. Cuts the touch line. Chinese Taipei to throw in. Still off the ship? Yep. It's fine. Yep. So yeah. Yep. Number three. Dunsha Chandras for Sri Lanka. Oh, three. Playmaker. Is the right out or from? Ball right, going good. into the line out was not straight. It's your first time watching Rugby Union of any description. Long out set piece. It's important. Well, you must throw the ball in straight. And if it's deemed not straight, then possession is given away to the opposition. Tap and go by Suranath. Sri Lanka, the edge it even closer now to the Chinese Taipei line. Finally, they send one of their big hitters straight up. Big counter ruck by Chinese Taipei. They committed a lot of bodies to that, though. They look like they may even be able to break out here, Chinese Taipei. Good support lines back on the inside. They like to play the ball. Close to the centre, Chinese Taipei. Some would call that a bounce pass, but that's would be overly optimistic, I think, as Chinese Taipei managed to keep their hands on the ball. Oh, certainly generated some space out there. There's so much space, there's no one there. Chinese Taipei. 20 seconds left. Hats off, ladies and gentlemen, and the Facebook audience to Chad Shepard joining us. Very happy to see girls from his stable and the women's program of China advancing strongly early. Sri Lanka for the line and a try for Sri Lanka. Komitiki. Pereira. Just jogging in for a try. As half time is called. There he is. Look at that. Lovely offload on the inside. Running the good line is Nishan Pereira. And the half time score Sri Lanka 14, Chinese Taipei 7. Sri Lanka, well, looking the more confident and slick of the two outfits. Potentially the score line not quite indicating that. Well, no, Sri Lanka has a lot more to give than they're showing here early in the tournament. It's just taking the opportunity to run themselves in. So that wind has picked up now, just a, just a nod or two. 
And he's actually begun to swing round and is pretty much blowing almost across field. And that'll be a consideration for the coaches and the players. As it stiffens up, makes throwing into the line outs, well, just that little bit more difficult. Chinese flag in full effect, as uh, some of the Chinese fans. And Chinese Taipei get ready to come back. Get this. Second half underway, hopefully with a score. to the Sri Lankan fans watching their boys from Northside Sri Lanka <laughs> the restart coming back knock forward is the call Sri Lanka taking the early advantage off that so Chinese Taipei after starting strongly Crouch. Watch Sri Lanka make the bulk of the play. Uh, Christian from Samar. It's Korea playing their full side or a young side like they did in the first leg. Well, they have made some changes. Still would hardly be what you consider maybe the very top Korean lineup. Of course, it's all about who's available. Sri Lanka, look at this tremendous play. There's a man on the inside. Great step by Kevin Dixon. Look at that. Well, that's an ankle breaker, that one. Great left foot step. Kevin Joseph tries converted twenty one points to seven. Sri Lanka just easing into the control seat of their opening fixture of the weekend. Peter Wood trained or coached Sri Lankan side. Push wide, Chinese Taipei. Pick and go. Chinese Taipei going on with it. This is good, strong, robust play. Well, the man from Chinese Taipei, they'd step in. That's a good work. That's some good work by Pinyi. Pinyi goes again. Ball back. The line is open. And it's a... Whoa, is it a try? It is a try. Ultimately scored by Liu. Yao Cheng. He's taken a bit of a ding with it. But that try was set up with good support play by Chinese Taipei. Working the inside line all day today. And this time it turns up some good dividends. 21 points to 12. And he's taking a bit of bark off as well. That's what happens though in the big game. Robin's racing. Conversion attempt started off pretty well. And it just faded away. It's the try scorer. 
gingerly heads back towards the bench. I'm not sure all he'll get is a band-aid and a message from Mum. Time off. Time. Blown just as they make some changes. I imagine that will be a blood bin for Leo. And we're off and racing. Three minutes remaining and it's opening fixture for Sri Lanka and Chinese Taipei. Game number seven in the tournament so far. Sri Lanka has got to get out of the way, the Chinese Taipei player, and he does pretty urgently and just in a nick of time. Yeah, the Sri Lankans test Chinese Taipei's willingness, but it's knocked down. And it's an offside position. Quite rightly, just slowing the tempo of the game down. You know, the best thing that they can do is just control the rate of play. It will frustrate the Chinese Taipei side and be looking to somewhere close out those points any way they can. The Sri Lankan side. Very, very good, very experienced. Now this Simmons rugby will time on. Two minutes remain. Cleanly taken by Sri Lanka. Fit into the midfield. Straight away they go side to side. They begin stretching the Chinese Taipei defence to the point where that is the final result. A well-crafted try by the Tuskers. And it's Riza Rafai Dean. The try scorer. Great from the line out. They spread it one way, they brought it back to the halfway. Unfortunately, Chinese Taipei overcommitted. The defence moved off, left a lot of room on that far side in front of the umbrella stand. And as a result. Sri Lanka cruise one in. Conversion unsuccessful. Twenty-six points to twelve. It's more loose for Chinese Taipei. Straight through the middle. How on earth has he lost that forward? Yes, he has. Well, handling errors have really kept the Chinese Taipei team from competing as well as they could. But the Lankan side here this weekend, they're classy. Big shove from Chinese Taipei, but it only results in a penalty for Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka now full of running, as they always are. It's a good, strong run by this try scorer, Rafa Dean. Now they loosen it up. Dima, number 11, gets the ball back on the inside. Now they charge off. Chinese Taipei forced to cover and make tackles it's been extraordinarily tire, tiring chasing after the Sri Lankan side they know how to use the ball well 14 minutes is up it's a yellow card offence for Chinese Taipei they're down to six Full time is off. The chip and case. Oh, I'm not too sure if that was the right tactic from Chinese Taipei. And if I wasn't too sure before, I was absolutely right. It was not the right idea. 
Good heavens above. And Sri Lanka going for a late one after reducing Chinese Taipei to six players. Some panic-stricken defence has led to another seven points and it's 38 points to 12. There's the chip through. Now, if you're going to kick it, kick it. Look at that. Well, well, well. Not entirely sure whether I've seen a try like that on any rugby pitch anywhere in the world, to be honest. Final score, 33 points to 12. Sri Lanka dominating Chinese Taipei here in the opening game of the opening men's bracket. At Namdong Asiad Stadium in Incheon, China. Coming up next. We've got an absolute crack up. Just enough time for you to go away and put on the kettle. Maybe crack open another back at the packet of biscuits. We return more International Sevens Rugby from Korea in the Asia Rugby Seven Series. Here it is, next up, Hong Kong taking on Korea. This will be a beauty. <laughs> 